Okay, it's been over a week now since my brother died. It's Saturday now. And we have found a couple of things out um, about, about how he died. He had a rupture um, from in the artery. artery. Keep saying artery, artery, uh, from his spleen um, to his heart, which caused um, <coughs> catastrophic um, internal bleeding. Uh, he couldn't be saved, unfortunately, even if they tried. So now that we know that, his bloods came back clear. The doctors couldn't give any other reason why anything like that would have happened so suddenly. So. Uh, an autopsy did have to be done so at least we have answers and we know why which eases it a little bit because it wasn't his fault it's nothing he did nothing anybody else has done apparently he could be born with it he had a weakness in that artery um it could have been from birth nobody knows nobody knows how why um he, we were told by the coroner that he wouldn't have suffered, he wouldn't have realised, he wouldn't have been in agony. It was very quick, which is a relief. I didn't want him to worry. I didn't want him to be panicking. Uh, we've been spending some time with my sister-in-law and the boys, just making sure that they're good in themselves. I had a talk with the boys last night. Um, I work in a school, so we have um, we have specific programs that help children in schools. So I used one of those with them, and it worked so far. They've got Freddie feelings teddy bear, and if they have any feelings that they need to talk about, then they hold Freddie feeling and speak to an adult, and hopefully we can give some answers. Corbin, this um, six-year-old, he's he was the one that found it really hard to talk. One of the things that came out of him was, what's going to happen now? Because he was always daddy's special boy. Um, he thought that, that part of it would be gone. <clears throat> so I reassured him that daddy's got his angel wings. And within his wings is a feather that belongs to each of his boys that he'll take with him forever. They won't fall out. They'll stay with him in his wings in the safest place. And it'll have their names on. So hopefully that's given them or helped them with some logic. I've told them now that Daddy, we won't be seeing Daddy anymore. The same as when we lost my mum. Over two years ago, we, we explained the same. So possibly losing my mum at that time would have helped the boys to understand that when somebody does die, it does mean that they are gone. They, they don't walk through that door anymore. They don't call your name. Um, it's time, time and acceptance for them. As for me, I went back to work yesterday uh, it's been amazing being around the children again and, and the staff that I work with are so very, very supportive. So I'm going to go back in on Monday, half day, and then I'm going to go from Tuesday full time again, which I feel strong enough to do. It's still a journey. I'll still get angry. I still feel sad. I still remember all the good times. But I need to remember that they're still around. Just close your eyes and you can see them. Close your eyes and you can you can hear them. Because they're forever going to be in my heart and, and in my memories. Nobody can take that away from me. That doesn't go when they go. That stays and that's the most treasured part of it. It's just having that. So my brother is going to be cremated. He's gone for the, or my sister-in-law, after having previous discussions with him, obviously with what happened to mum. 